The Keene Sentinel mural here depicts a newsie selling newspapers along Main Street in Keene. He's standing in front of the 1893 Keene Sentinel newspaper building, uh, which is still in downtown. So next time you're in downtown, take a look to see if you can recognize where this building is on Main Street. This mural was painted by a man named Joe Diaz, a wall dog from Pontiac, Illinois. He and his team had to get set up on scaffolding and they also had a big awning because it was raining the weekend that the artists were here and they didn't want to get rain on their mural as they worked. You can still see evidence of the brackets up above the mural where they had to put their awning. But the Keene Sentinel started way before that building that we see in this mural. In 1799, a young man named John Prentice from Lemonster, Massachusetts, decided to move to Keene, New Hampshire to start a weekly newspaper. Other newspapers had been in Keene, but had failed. And he was going to create something that would report on local news, but also state, national, and international news. As soon as he opened, he started getting more and more subscribers, but he wanted to branch out. So the thing that John Prentice also did is start a publishing business on the side. He was publishing books and he was especially publishing school textbooks. So if you were a student back then, you were getting your books possibly from Keene, New Hampshire. So today the Keene Sentinel is still in business, still publishing things on the side, and today is the fifth oldest newspaper in the country. It covers 30 towns in the region, it has digital platforms, and it's printing specialty magazines.